Mom, I've got a guest for you. Now, you must tell me, what have you been doing with your life? Uh, dealing antiques? <gasps> antiques. When you were a child, I used to catch you studying my paintings. You'd always go straight to the very best ones, the Peel, the Lane, the Copley. I used to think, ah, oh, a kindred spirit. We're back. This is Matt. This is Katie. This is On The Road Reviews. With Matt and Katie. And we just got out of the Goldfinch. Um, full disclosure, neither one of us have read the book. So this is, unlike our IT review, this is truly going to be... You won't have to sit through those comparisons you don't care about. Because of the source material, and I know the source material. Well, I've read the this book one. so um, many times. You want to start? You want to go first? You want I would to like go for first? you to go first, please. All right, so first of all, this movie is... You're out of it. It's way too clean. Um, they live in New York... And even when one of the characters shows up in what I was assuming was supposed to be like a seedy bar, everything is too clean. Everyone looks like they were dressed by Abercrombie and Finch, and every single place this kid goes looks like it was Pottery Barn or Wayfair Furniture. It was way too clean, even when he's supposed to be with his dodgy dad everything was just too clean and that bothered me in the film um I, the acting was wonderful the acting was absolutely wonderful i think that the kid was much better than the older version of the main character um finn wolfhard gets better and better with, I mean, if you watch all three seasons of Stranger Things, you can see it. You see what he did in It. There was something I watched a couple weeks ago with him in it. This one, this kid is getting better and better with each performance. He does a really good job in this one. Um, uh, the Ashley Cummings. Well, yeah, Ashley Cummings was great, too. Yeah, um, she was only in it very briefly. Yeah, she was in it very briefly. Um, I almost rather, and I know why they didn't cast her, but I almost rather would have seen her play the sister. Yeah. Because that girl that was playing the sister was worthless. Um, she was Story-wise, I just, this is way out of my wheelhouse. It didn't appeal to me. Parts of it did. But overall, I was just kind of bored. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of bored. I felt like the beginning of it was kind of choppy. And there's a character that dies that I felt like I was supposed to feel something for that. But I just didn't because it wasn't around enough. Um, or he, that we didn't get enough time to know that character. And I felt like that should have been a major part. And maybe it is in the book. I don't know. Um, and it's long. I very rarely do I do this, but I was sitting there going, God, I hope this movie's almost over. God, I hope this movie's almost over. Um, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it. It was a good movie. I've seen it once. I don't need to see it again. There. That's, those are my thoughts. So there's a point fairly early on where Jeffrey Wright tells Ansel Elgort's the younger version of him. He's talking about antique furniture. And he's talking about how you can tell the difference between an antique and a reproduction because the reproductions don't have the imperfections. The reproductions are flat and dead. And there's a point where the character tells him that all of the furniture at the family's house where he's staying feels like stuffed animals. Flat and dead and stuffed animals is how I felt about everybody in this movie for a very, very long time, except the children. The kid versions, I was there. I was into it. They were great. The adult versions, I think Nicole Kidman's dead stare, which Nicole Kidman does a lot, kind of sums up the adults. They were all surface. They were all veneer. They would have these random explosions of anger where you're like, what the freaky frack did that come from? It wasn't until he got to the trashier, more not 
not so wealthy people that you felt any kind of genuine human reactions to things. But do you think that was on purpose? I think it was. To a point? I think it was supposed to be. That it was supposed to be. These people are wealthy. They're guarded. They're, everything is about holding on to the past and blah, 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 instead of being able to deal with what's right in front of you. I do think it was in pur on purpose. I think it was what you said about the sis. I didn't have any problem with the woman that played the sister, but I felt like it's because that's what the character was supposed to be, where they're very surface, where everything that's genuine about them, they keep hidden. Every they have so many secrets because they can't live a genuine life. He talks about, I walk around in bespoke suits, and I, and I have socialized with people I can't stand. It's, it, it's all surface it's all veneer it's all you know and i'm sure that the book is brilliant it's a pulitzer prize winner it's donna tart it's massive so i'm sure that the book really explores all of those things i don't think it translated at all into a movie i'm with you about it feeling choppy you get basically the end of the movie at the beginning and then you kind of have to go back and forward but you're going back and forth through the whole movie between his childhood and his adulthood and and you're finding things out about him that you had no idea and I'm with you about the character that was supposed to, should have been a very show. I did not care about any of the adults in here and only surface cared about the kids because right about the times that I started to feel connected to them they would switch to a scene in the present and I I have a weird thing with Nicole Kidman I'm just gonna tell you right now I am thrilled that for the first time in in several movies and TV shows I didn't have to watch Nicole Kidman get rage banged against some piece of furniture so thanks for that but the woman has three facial expressions for all the shit that they give Twilight she has more facial expressions than Nicole Kidman. Now, part of that may be because, you know, she's got a lot of this going on these days, so she might not be able to move her face anymore. But in the beginning, this kid comes to her. He's just gone through this horrific experience. He just shows up at her door. There's no warmth. There's no... You have no idea what's going on because there's nothing behind See, her and eyes I was thinking ever, that too, but ever. there was a part of me that was like, is this the way the character was written? Is this the way it's supposed to be? I don't know. Or... But it may be distrustful of her from the beginning, and I understand what the hell is happening, and I, you know, I'm not your... I barely know you, kid. What are you doing in my house? Yeah. But it's just like, oh, here you go. Here's some pajamas that still have the price tags on them in the guest room. It was just a really... And the eldest son... Cold was just that was like weird. That. It was random because he had this total outburst out of nowhere the first time you see him, and then you never see him again until years and years later. But that was the one who saw him on the street, yes, and right? And bizarre. I was like, "How the hell? What? You've seen this? You've seen Theo, which was the main kid. You've seen him once at the dinner table, and now you're going to pick him out on a street in New York? Yeah. It was little. I think a lot of the problems could have been fixed if." If it had been more linear, it would have happened. Right. And I'm sure it's written that way. Yeah. But that doesn't always translate to film. Film and books are different languages, and there is no way to get a, a direct word-for-word -word translation. Yeah. But that's the reason that screenwriters who successfully adapt books are one in a million. Because you can't... There are times that you want the book to be... I just want you to make the movie that's the way the book goes. Sometimes yeah. you can't do that. And right. I suspect that the book was written with a lot of back and forth because there was a little mystery. But, but I didn't care about the mystery either. I didn't really care about anything that was happening at all. I wanted to. I did too. The whole thing with the painting was more interesting to me than everything else in the story. But for the movie at least, it's not an integral, really an integral part. It's not. There is it a, wasn't there until is a, the end when you when realize they, when they tell you why yeah. the picture was so important right. to him that you're like oh okay right. because bef up and but there was nothing no because the whole movie you're like why is he still why yeah he got this what thing? is what, what is, is going what is going you know? on here so but it wasn't enough to go oh i hope they let me know it was just like yeah what's the deal with this i just so katie but and it i was went beautiful yeah it, and the acting was yeah other than you know 
I would it not be. Yeah, I would not be surprised to see some Oscar attention come out of this. It's definitely mm. plays into that. I don't. I just know wish about... that I had felt the connection to the characters that they were obviously feeling. Because in this movie, everybody cries. Oh my god! I mean, everybody. Everybody has a moment, but not me. Yeah, it was just you know, and I get the sense that. This was one of those um, cash grab situations where the book was so popular, the Pulitzer Prize, and I don't know when the book came out, so I don't know a how ago. close we are. A few years ago. Was it a few years ago? Okay, so maybe it's not like uh, Angels and Demons or Da Vinci's Code kind of thing where the book was popular and they were like, oh, we gotta cash in on this, write a movie, no, and then the movie and it sucks. was popular with a completely kind of different. <coughs> I think it was probably genuinely somebody just wanted to make a movie, a, an artistic movie for for a book that they loved. It just did. It for didn't me. translate I don't very think well. It translate. I mean, I'll I don't tell know. you what. Maybe it's exactly what the book is like, and I wouldn't like the book I either. Don't know. But I've read other things of hers and didn't have a problem with them. They, the other things that I've read of hers, kind of have that sort of slower pace and what's going on, but not anything ripping what's going on but just like okay let me based on the movie the book would have put me to sleep within three pages i would have been like <sighs> um yeah i don't know yeah i can't in good conscience say go watch this one at the theater i mean if it's streaming yeah. go ahead if if you've read the book and you're really excited about it by all means go yeah um because there are there are yeah it's not bad it's not I bad i just didn't feel a connection it's anymore. yeah there was for nothing me, there for me important. maybe if i had read the book Knowing the character, because, you know, it's obvious that you get more of these characters in the book. So, maybe then, I just don't, what I saw on the screen, I don't feel that this story, they just didn't do a good job with the story. So, um, and I'll tell you, there were a couple scenes where I was like, wow, if there was a picture to represent white privilege, <laughs> it's right here. Yeah, because there's the diff the time difference between when he's a boy and an adult. I'm no. guessing it's somewhere in the 10 to 13 year range. We don't no. really know. And there are places where the older brother, when he reintroduces him, says, oh, we're much more casual now. They yeah. walk into the house and nothing has changed. The exact same statue is in the doorway. The exact same paintings are on the wall. No. The same nothing has changed. And... I don't know what he thinks casual is, but yeah. it's not these people. <laughs> yeah. So, mm. um, acting wise, I it was great. You know, I just I don't know. I'm I've I've seen it once. I don't think I need to see it again. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, um, for sure. I'm so those you. are our thoughts on the Goldfinch. We, we'd be interested if you have read it. We'd be interested to get your your thoughts on the film version. Um, so yeah, that's it. Don't forget to please, please subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Click the like button. If you click the little like button, and then if you click the bell, you see the little red bell ding, 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 ding. around there? Ring the bell, and every time we post a new video, we get a notification. So that's it. We're done. Next up, I think, is either Ad Astra or there's another one coming out next week. Villains we're interested in. Villains. So we're going to decide on which one, or we may watch both of them. Thank you, Regal Unlimited. <laughs> All right, guys, we're done. We will chat with you later. Bye.